All right. Hi, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are very happy to welcome you to the launch of India's first uh, AI-based music uh, tech startup, Beethoven, uh, that provides a platform for uh, music composers and content creators to help them create royalty-free, affordable, easy-to-license, exclusive music. Uh, thank you all for being a part of uh, this virtual meet. Um, I think let us begin. We already have a few people uh, here and we have a few people joining us a little later in the event. But uh, in the interest of time, I think let's begin uh, today's uh, discussion. Uh, so let us welcome uh, you to interact uh, with a very dynamic duo, uh, Mansoor Rahmat Khan, who is the co-founder and uh, CEO of Beethoven. Um, so Mansoor is a Goa-based uh, sitarist with more than 17 years of experience uh, in the recording and uh, live music industry. Also a seventh generation musician uh, from, from the quintessential Dharwar Karana of sitar players. We also have uh, with us a very talented Siddharth Bharadwaj, uh, the co-founder and CTO of Beethoven. Uh, Siddharth is a multi-instrumentalist and music technologist uh, working at the intersection of music and technology uh, for the past seven years. Um, today we also have, we welcome our esteemed panel members as well. Uh, Mr. Puneet Chavla, uh, Vice President of InfoEdge. Uh, Mr. Vivek Kumar, General Manager from Entrepreneur First. Shrikant uh, Shastri from Thai Delhi who is also an advisor to uh, Beethoven since inception. Uh, renowned musicians uh, Khalid, Ahmed, and Parvaz, and sitar player, uh, sitar player Asad Khan. We also have a renowned content creator Rupak Shah from Lernot. So thank you all for taking our time and uh, being a part of this event. Uh, I would now like to open uh, the floor to Mansoor and request him to you know, take you through the entire journey uh, for Beethoven, you know, how the music was conceptualized and how uh, you know, what Beethoven really offers for content creators and uh, musicians here. So over to you, Mansoor. Thanks a lot, uh, Priyanka. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, hi, everyone. First of all, thank you so much for making it for this event. Uh, we are very happy to have all of you here uh, on this launch. So let me first introduce myself. Uh, so as Priyanka rightly pointed, I am a professional sitar player. I have uh, 17 years of experience in the recording and live music industry. And uh, my family has been dedicated to music for the past seven generations. So uh, we are one of the first family that was like, it was recorded in India by HMV in 19th century. So yeah, that's a little bit background on the family side. Uh, on the education front, uh, I'm an alumni of National Institute of Technology and the Georgia Tech Center for Music Technology in Atlanta. Uh, I worked across several startups in India, uh, such as Stone Tag, uh, Great Learning in product rules primarily. And I've also co-founded uh, an EDM news website called edmofi.com back in 2015. So yeah, so that's a brief about my background. And uh, I'll quickly maybe give you a sense of uh, why we started this company, Beethoven.ai. So I met my co-founder Siddharth at this program called Entrepreneur First. Uh, it's an accelerator program which helps people find co-founders and start a company together. And me and Siddharth both have like a deep passion for music and technology uh, from a very long time. Uh, and we essentially were looking for interesting problems to solve in this space. And uh, when we started speaking to a lot of content creators, people who create content on YouTube, small agencies, uh, production houses, what we learned is uh, licensing music, uh, copyrights uh, is, is a big issue. Uh, there's a lot of challenges around this space and this seemed like a very interesting problem for us to take take up and then it's like a multi-fold problem which uh, spans from acquisition licensing monetization of the content royalties searching of right music for your content and editing the music for your content so when we look at looked at this problem and the way how it was being solved today is simply by uh, stock music libraries licensing pre-created soundtracks what we thought is maybe we could create a tool where users can make their own original soundtracks uh, without any knowledge of music, you know, like, can we use technology to help users to make music for their content specifically, and essentially like more position towards background music. So uh, we started this back in uh, 2021, like almost a year back, and uh, we spoke to like close to 500 content creators. Uh, and then slowly, slowly, we, we saw like a repeated pattern, like, and everyone was relating to this problem. And that inspired us to start building this product. And B21.ai is a very simplified music creator tool, which uses artificial intelligence for real-time music composition. So essentially, users just need to specify very high-level preferences onto our tool, like mood, genre, instrument preferences. And our AI composes like an original soundtrack in real-time. Uh, also, 
the way how we further validated this idea is we did like a lot of beta testing for the past one year. We were building the product in phases. So we have more than 1000 plus users on the platform right now. And we are tied up with more than 150 independent musicians in the country, two of which are there in this call. I'm very fortunate to have Khalid here and also Asad who will be joining us shortly. Uh, also uh, on the numbers print, we have like 360 minutes of music that has already been downloaded from our platform and 10,000 minutes of music that has been contributed by these various independent artists to the, towards this platform. Uh, some of the targets that we have essentially for this tool is to onboard 10,000 users by the end of FY23. And uh, also like, you know, we have like target revenues of 1 million ARR. Uh, so this is like a very exciting market to be in right now because there's a lot of activity and action in this market uh, with a lot of Western counterparts also uh, fundraising, you know, building products in this space. Uh, and uh, the way how we intend to monetize this platform is through a subscription model. Uh, and interestingly, recently, the Prime Minister of India also highlighted, you know, that like it's time for a music revolution in India. We need to see music tech startups coming out of India. Uh, so I, I think keeping all these things in mind, I would like to first go ahead and maybe quickly show you a demo of the product. Uh, so let's just allow me a minute to share my screen. <clears throat> All right. So this is basically our website. Uh, can it, is, is it visible to everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. So, so basically uh, once you land on our website, it's a pretty straightforward, you know, uh, like there's a demo and also we talk about our use cases, you know, who is it for uh, like, you know, who can potentially use this tool and for what purposes can they essentially use it? And uh, you can get started with this tool by just clicking on this button and you'll quickly be taken onto the screen. Uh, now, essentially here uh, on the tool, you have the ability to make a new track. So the way how the, the composition works here is, let's say you click on this plus icon. Uh, the first question that this tool will ask you is duration. Like how long is your track? Is it like a one minute or a two minute? So maximum we support is 15 minutes right now in one generation. And also you can basically select the tempo. Like do you want a slow track or a medium track or a fast track? Let's say you select like medium, for instance. So now once you do this, now the next option that is thrown in front of you is genres. So uh, we currently offer eight genres from cinematic, Indian, indie, ambient, hip hop, electronic pop, and R&B. Uh, so there is, it's quite possible that content creators who are our target users might not understand what these terms basically mean. So they also have the ability to hover on top of these tiles and get a sense of what the music sounds like. So you get a sense, it's like a preview, you know, like you, before entering inside, you get a sense of what the end music is going to sound like. Let's say you just pick uh, for the sake of this demo cinematic. Now you have 16 moods that you can choose from. So sad, calm, motivational, happy. These are terms that, you know, the, the creators are well versed with. Uh, and here also you have the option to preview these styles and get a sense of what these moods sound like. Now, you, let's say the vibe of your video is energetic. You want to pick something energetic and this isn't cinematic. So now what basically happens is based on what the user has selected, like the duration, uh, the speed of the track, and also like, uh, you know, the mood, the genre, and all of these inputs, uh, our composition algorithms kick in and they start creating an original piece of music in real time. So typically how traditionally the process would work is it would take you like maybe two to three days to potentially, you know, create, mix, master a whole piece of music. But here essentially what's happening is it's, it's getting composed like in a minute, like you have like a minute of soundtrack being made like in a, in a minute and it's completely original uh, and, you know, royalty free, uh, which is basically, which you can essentially use for your content headache free. Uh, so there are quite a lot of interesting features that we have built inside this, which I will demonstrate to you once this track is ready. So I'll probably play an example. Uh, so let, let this let this compose. Just just give it like a couple of seconds. So like we are demonstrating all the steps here, like it's mixing your track, then it's mastering your track, and now it's going to fetch the generated track. So we have a song here. Let's listen to it. Now let's say in, inside this, uh, uh, let's say the track that you have generated, maybe it's not something that you really like. 
maybe it's good but it's not good enough so you have multiple options that you can choose from so you just click here you have like four or five other options that you can pick from and you can also preview them so you can pick one of them and then see like which one goes best with your content now uh, amongst this uh, you also have other options other features here so let's say you are you have a voice over in your video so you want to adjust uh, you want to adjust like the volume you know you don't want the music to be too loud you can essentially adjust it here you can completely dim the music also at certain points where you just want the speech to dominate so that's also possible uh, and if you if you just like want to reset it you just click on it and hit the delete button uh, yeah and you also have other possibilities here so you, inside the track uh, if you like certain instruments let's say you just like piano so you can just keep piano and you can delete the rest so you can just remove others it's as simple as just deselected it from here uh, you also have and once you hit the go button like when you listen to the track those particular elements will be out of your composition uh, you can, in between your track you can also uh, possibly like you know adjust the mood you want to change the mood you can change the mood that's also completely possible and uh, yeah so these are the possibilities and you can change the tempo also if you feel like now i want to have a fast tempo you can change the tempo here now there are some further interesting features inside here so you can make multiple moods inside the same track let's say you don't want the whole track to be energetic you want like you know it to transition between multiple moods so you just click on the snipping tool and you can add multiple moods here so you can have like energetic going into depressing going into maybe fearful so you have those multiple transitions and when you hit the compose track button uh, our, our tool will make sure that you know the music is uh, the transitions are also kind of taken care of so i want to recompose in the interest of time i'll just show you something that i've already created here to show the transitions So this is cinematic music. So it has a lot of piano, and very Hans Zimmer style music. Uh, and inside this, like, uh, like if you see here, like we have the possibility of uploading a video as well. So you, it's as simple as just dragging a video here. You, you will see your video here. So you can keep your video in front, and you can basically see how the music goes along with it, which I've already done over here. Once, let's say you like the music and you are happy with everything, and uh, you know, uh, like everything works perfectly fine for your content. All you need to do uh, is. Okay, like maybe like also one more thing I'm going to show is like inside this, like if you want to like, you know, you like certain sections, maybe you like this part and you don't like this part. You want to keep this, but you want to change this last part. So you have this lock section feature here. So you can just lock these sections and here this particular section, you can just recompose. So the first two sections will still remain there and the third section will basically get recomposed. So, you know, that is also customizability that is kind of possible. Once you have all of this in place, you just want this track. All you've got to do is hit the download generated track button and it'll give you a wave file. You hit the save button. And as soon as you do that, you get a license that is generated, which comes to your email here. As you can see your music license. And it's a PDF, which comprises all the information, you know, like from Beethoven Private Limited, what's the duration, what's the name of the track, what use case are you using for and stuff like that. So yeah, it's as seamless as that. And that's basically a brief demo of what we have built over the last year. Thanks so much. Over to you, Priyanka. Okay, great. Thanks, Mansoor, for that insightful information. Um, I'd like to call upon uh, Siddharth Bhardwaj, who is the co-founder and CTO for Beethoven. So, Siddharth, over to you to share a few words, uh, you know, with our uh, media friends here. Hi, uh, I'm Siddharth. Welcoming all of you guys here on the call. And yeah, as as Priyanka just told, I'm the co-founder and CTO at Beethoven.ai. And I have been working in this music and tech space for quite some time now, uh, for, for the past seven years. And during this time, I have done my master's in music, music tech from UPF Barcelona. And I've done my bachelor's from IIIT Labad. And like, apart from this, I have also on the side, I co-founded the music tech community to just to spread awareness about this field in general in India and getting a community of music technologies, music makers together under one umbrella. Uh, and yeah, I've been uh, building beta1.ai with Mansoor and my whole team for the past one year now. And like this platform is basically India's first AI powered music creation tool. And it, 
the platform basically uses a mix of uh, mix of algorithms music theory uh, artificial intelligence to compose what you just saw mansoor uh, do in real time so uh, all of these different genres that you see on the platform we have indian classical we have uh, we have hip hop r&b we have also upcoming uh, genres like bollywood and etc and so all of these genres we have built out separate models we have music producers and experts guiding us along the way and uh, w- what should be w- what could be the most representative form of these genres so we infuse uh, ai algorithms along with those music theory rules and the domain knowledge which is very very important we feel and we keep it at the core of uh, beta1.ai's tech and so uh, we we have sourced like uh, almost 20000 music samples from more than 150 artists across india and globally uh, whenever a user uh, gives its requirements let's say a 2 minute track with cinematic and energetic mood so what happens essentially at the back of beta1.ai is uh, we fetch we look for the best samples from this library of more than 20000 samples and create a track in real time which is which basically means arranging it into uh, finding out what best guitar piece could work with the piano piece that has been fetched from the back end and then what could continue it into a more coherent track and what could be the best for a particular user's content so it's unique it's very customizable our aim is to reach the users uh, whatever the user has in their mind whatever kind of music they should reach that in the least amount of time possible so that's the goal uh, for us and uh, it's it's very different from whatever has been uh, whatever music creation tool have been there before uh, all of those uh, were mostly mostly require a user to input a lot of different things and any ai based uh, music creation tools which have been there in the past so there have been a couple uh, i think two or three but what they essentially do is they are uh, usually a black box model where you cannot customize the final track uh, which is our primary usp and we save time for these content creators uh, we have built this using uh, like we have a team of uh, 15 brilliant individuals including phd's in music technologies in music technology and, and we have brilliant music producers inside within the team we have techies and designers who have uh built several startups during their journeys before uh, joining us so we are very proud of our team and we look forward to bringing more and more uh, interesting features to you guys yeah great thank you siddharth oh, thanks uh, thank you for that information guys if any of you all have any questions in uh, you all can please post your questions in the chat box here and we'll be happy to take them through uh, at the end of uh, this meet Uh, so calling upon i'd like to invite uh, puneet chabla who is the vice president of info edge who has all who's also been an investor in the company just to give you a background on puneet puneet is a software engineer uh, turned entrepreneur and now he's a venture capitalist he's an optimist who believes uh, technology will make uh, the world a better place he's uh, puneet is also the founder of uh, jaipur an internet first artisanal lifestyle brand and he grew the company uh, of you know to about 50 crores in revenue uh punith has raised about 7 million dollars in venture capital fund and has sold the business to uh, aditya birla fashion and retail so over to you punith in terms of your journey with beethoven and uh, you know how do you guys contribute uh, uh, you know to this young duo thank you thank you priyanka um first and foremost uh, congratulations guys uh, for the official launch uh, very very exciting um i'll just talk about uh, you know why we found the startup um exciting and why we decided to invest i think first and foremost um you know it's it's not every day you come across people who understand both music theory and ai i mean these are two uh, fields which takes you know years of practice years of uh, sort of you know devotion to be able to start understanding these fields and then then you come across somebody who understands both and then you come across two people who understand that who are deciding to sort of you know work together i think that itself was something really exciting and you know merits uh, for us to sort of evaluate the company um, of course uh, you know being professional musicians we also felt that they would have a network of musicians which will sort of help them refine the product as it sort of you know grew uh, across several generations um 
also i think being incubated at entrepreneur first was also a big you know big plus for us ef obviously is a big stamp of approval uh, and you know any team that they decide to back you know merits a good look so you know that was another big reason for us to get excited about beta 1 um of course from the from the point of view of the industry i think the creator economy is you know um it's kind of exploding uh, we've sort of so far only scratched the surface um you know especially here in india it's it's really um you know coming in and over the next 5 to 10 years i think we will see a lot of original content being produced uh, a lot of regional content being produced you know which um as we see we feel that is really the next frontier the internet over the last 30 40 years has been primarily been in english right but you know now coming to countries like india and china a lot of regional language content and uh, which means you know you'll obviously need music to support regional language content also right so their focus beta one's focus on not just you know all kinds of genres um, global genres but also indian classical was also something that you know we we felt is uh, you know something that was very exciting for us um yeah you know uh, you know just just to add to that uh, fundamentally music is very mathematical uh, you know not that i claim to be a student of music uh, but you know i know that it follows certain you know rules and and it follows certain theories um and you know i think it was it was you know the the right time for technology technology to come in and make a big intervention um and, and you know i can totally foresee um not just content creators not not just short form content creators but even even musicians you know um and and filmmakers and music composers and music directors you know using tools like beta one using artificial intelligence to sort of you know become uh, more efficient at what they're doing and and you know create better music for all of us to consume um, you know my wife is a documentary filmmaker i've been you know um, i've seen her do some of these projects where they've had to either rely on stock stock music or hire photo or you know hire musicians to compose original music and and the difference in quality and the cost in in both these cases is there's a huge gap there and you know we feel that uh, we're very excited that beta one is kind of fitting into that gap and you know it's it's going to be a big market that they will they will serve over the next few years yeah thanks munith thank you for sharing your insights and your journey uh, with the brand i'd like to call upon now uh, vivek kumar who is the general manager at entrepreneur first who has also invested in the company he is currently uh, leading the funding for entrepreneur first a uk based global firm in india uh, prior to entrepreneur first he, uh, he co-founded uh, excubator and he has supported uh, more than 100 startups indian startups since then vivek is also an honorary ambassador to to the asia berlin and indo german startup exchange program initiatives by the german government to support both startups in india and germany so over you to over to you vivek thank you priyanka congratulations guys finally today is the day and uh, we have been waiting for this since almost a year now and it's so excited to finally see a version which is working so congratulations again i mean our association with both the co-founders started super early right i mean we remember the days when you know uh, both co-founders joined and they were still discovering what should they build right and and that's where typically when uh, founders join us that's how early they are and what was super exciting for us is the way both these co-founders came together and they were able to identify a problem which is a huge challenge in india uh because so far if you look at many of the music tech startups i mean almost all of them were focused on global music uh even though uh, uh regional content in india is a huge uh, uh thing now but if you look at startups which are focused on such kind of music or such kind of technology it's still rare so we were it, it was such a fresh concept we all of us understand the uh, uh problem many of the content creators face when they go look for license music and and you know finding quality royalty free music remains a challenge and uh, obviously mansoor with uh, fantastic background in this space and then siddharth having worked in music tech i think it was you can never ask for a better combination of co-founders who should go after building a technology like this 
and 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 I mean that's the reason for us to back them super super early at pre seed stage. Uh, later, the way this team was able to demonstrate an MVP and the way uh, uh, they cracked this particular problem, I think we were very excited. Hence, we decided to double down at uh, seed stage as well, and we are super happy to do so. The way we look at uh, this industry in India, I think. There is still huge scope. India is a music rich country uh, and there are solutions needed which are not just replica of Western music or, or the companies which are just solving Western problems. And I think what Beethoven is doing today is, uh, is a step in that particular direction. And we hope to see many more such companies emerging out of India. Uh, for Beethoven, I still feel that it's day zero. Uh, there is still a lot to be solved. But I think uh, uh, looking at this huge space, the richness uh, of music, we are very sure that uh, mm -hmm. the kind of solutions and tools that this company will develop, I'm sure it will have its own mark in uh, uh, content creators' life and it will solve some of the most challenging issues that music tech industry is facing currently in India. So yeah, super excited to be part of your journey, guys. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you for sharing that information with uh... Uh, everyone here. Uh, I'd like to now call upon Srikant Shastri. He has been an advisor, uh, you know, with the brand, with Beethoven since inception. Uh, he's an entrepreneur with two exits, uh, now a startup evangelizer and a mentor on a mission. He's also the co-author of the Ventilator Project and the president of Thai uh, Delhi NCR. So Srikant, over to you just to share uh, a few words with the audience here. Thank you. Thank you. So I just want to start by, uh, before I kind of talk about my journey or experience with uh, the founders. I just want to talk about two or three things that are super exciting about uh, entrepreneurship in India. I'm not going to talk about number of unicorns, quantum of funding, number of startups. Everyone knows that. I think the most exciting thing about startups in India is the number of startups and founders who are emerging from non-metro towns and small towns and both Mansoor and Sid are examples of that. Mansoor is from Goa, Sid is from Meerut and UP. And that is one exciting trend. The second is the increasing number of founders who are becoming entrepreneurs, not just for the heck of it because another person is or because media headlines say you must become a founder. They do it because they have a passion. They convert their passion into a business idea. And again, Mansoor and Sid are great examples of their passion for music has got converted into a business idea. The third thing that is great about today's generation of entrepreneurs is that they're super confident. They're totally sorted, if I may use that word. In fact, when I meet many of these founders, what I tell them is when I was your age, I was a complete idiot when I look at how super confident you guys are. So those are the three things that start stand out among entrepreneurs today. So with that, let me talk about how my interactions with Sid Mansoor and Beethoven has been. I met them in early 2021. It was obviously virtually because the second wave of COVID was just upon us. Uh, but to me, what struck me immediately was how passionately they were involved with music, their backgrounds with that, they studied music, and then they converted that into a startup idea. That was really great to see. Uh, when they walked in for the first meeting with me, I could see that they have total and complete clarity about what they wanted to do, what they wanted to build. I remember one of the first words they used was, we want to build something like a Canva for music. Obviously, things have evolved and changed, but there was utter and total clarity right from the beginning. The other beautiful part was when I engage with many startups across the country, there is often a lot of drama. They have a roller coaster ride. Uh, there are ups and downs, there are emotions, but both Mansoor and Sid were totally, totally calm, actually. That's what stood out for me. Of course, they had their share of temporary setbacks. When you launch your product, your customers tell you, I like this, I don't like that, go back and change it. Uh, they do all that. But I think what, was, what remained steadfast was they were always calm. They were always in control in their own in, uh, styles. Uh, Mansoor would do it with a smile on his face and articulate, like, this is what we heard from customers, this is what we're going to change. Sid would never smile, he, had, he would have fewer words, but he would still have the same sense of control, actually. I can see him smiling now, so that's good to see. Uh, so fundamentally, my interactions with them over the last 15 odd months 
uh, leave no doubt in my mind that we're seeing the creation of a very special world-class company out of India. And I'm really, really proud to have been associated with them. Good luck, guys. Thanks, Srikant. I'm sure that uh, it's been a phenomenal journey uh, mentoring these young guys. So thanks for sharing that information with uh, everyone here. Um, I'd like to call upon now uh, Asad Khan. Uh, Asad is an internationally renowned sitar player from the Mevati Garana of sitar players and has been associated with the company since the past few months now. He's the first sitar player from India to perform at the Nobel Peace Prize. He's a, he's a, music com he's a composer, producer, and has played as a part of Berlin uh, Phil Philharmonic Orchestra, uh, Cannes Film Festival, and is also the front runner of A.R. Rahman's band, uh, has also won a lot of Grammy Awards. He has worked with films such as Slumdog Millionaire, uh, Jodha Akbar, Ravan, and Commonwealth theme song. He's also been providing his music uh, samples to the platform and has been closely associated with Beethoven. So over to you, Asad, uh, to share a few words. Hi, he hello everyone. I hope you guys are, uh, you guys can hear me, right? Everything is okay, right? Yes, sir. Hi, hi, Mansoor and hi, Sid, and congratulations to everyone, uh, you know, involved in this. I've seen you guys, uh, this is this is the day. I'm, I'm so happy for you guys. Uh, I know where you guys started from and where is it today and uh, how uh, enthusiastic you all have been and doing this. First of all, um, you know, like for me, when you, I know Mansoor, by the way, everyone, I just wanted to say, because he's a Sitaris family also comes from. So I know him on the other side and he, I was very surprised because it is very rare um, to think on the music of this zone uh, because I, uh, there, there was something there in my family and people were doing, but I was very surprised when Mansoor actually came about asking me that he wants to develop something like this and wants to go into the uh, making the music to digitalizing music into a different platform and giving people a different perspective of what he thinks. Uh, I was very happy. Um, the concept uh, of what he has actually come out with and all his team has come out with is uh, fantastic. It's it's really great. It's very new. It's very fresh for for our uh, you know uh, country right now. Um, and I I just want to wish him and uh, all the team and like best of luck and. Uh, I think you guys are just on the right path. It's, it's the perfect thing to get uh, up, you know, at this time because of the lot of content, internet has been booming and, you know, people are, everybody, everybody has become like a director now. Everybody's shooting their own videos. They've all become music producers. Even, you know, like even kids these days want to specify their own music when they put up a reel or a TikTok video. I don't know what all. So they, it's it's just a perfect time you guys have like come out with all this thing. And I've been watching you um, with different ideas and I'm sure it's going to go a long way. Great. Thank you, Asad. In case any of you guys have any questions for our musicians, composers, here, please feel free to uh, you know, put your questions in the chat box, which we'll address towards the end of the event. Um, now I'd like to call upon uh, Khalid Ahmed, uh, who is a singer, composer, and the front man uh, at Parvas, and he's been giving his music uh, samples to the platform since the last two months now. Uh, he has been a part of the independent music scene in India since the last 14 years. So I'd like him to share a few words uh, with everyone here. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, congratulations, Mansoor. Once again, and the entire team, uh, uh, this is the big day for you guys. Uh, I I think my uh, link with Mansoor is like uh, we were playing at a festival in back in like seven eight years back at, in Goa at music one music festival. And that's when I met Mansoor, and we've been <clears throat> partly been in touch, and we're figuring out to jam someday. But <clears throat> eventually, that didn't happen. And I get a call from Mansoor like some months back and telling me that we are launching this thing. Would you be interested in making music for it? At first instant, I was like, okay, let me see what it is. But then the conversation went ahead and I started composing music for it, which was a great experience for me. And uh, as uh, Asad said earlier, it's a great platform for the new content creators that, uh, you know, they get to have a royalty-free music and music that has been actually made by humans. But yeah, <laughs> built, uh, got together by machines. <laughs> And uh, it's a great, it's a great thing. It was a fun experience for me. Like I, I was given uh, a span of, I did that uh, in span of 20 days and day and night I had to sit in front of my computer, which I usually don't do. I will sit 
in front of other musicians and make music but it was a different experience this time and a lot of learning for me as well and uh, at the end it was complete fun and i wish them great luck and great future ahead thank you thank you for for that information thanks khalid thanks uh, for talking to our audience here today um uh, last but not the least i think i'd like to call upon dupak shah who is a leading youtuber and the co-founder of donor donor is a youtube channel uh, which believes in the power of content uh, they are bringing about a positive change in society via their videos and short films and they believe in creating uh, interesting content via stories uh, his production house creates content for the youtube channel donor and also uh, for various brands on the ott platforms overall their combined reach uh, of their videos is more than 50 million and he's been associated with beethoven since the last 3 months now i'd like like him to share his experience uh, you know with the platform and with the founders hey guys congratulations uh, mansoor siddharth and uh, priyanka for facilitating it beautifully uh, so first of all uh, we have been discussing a lot of things from a music creators or content creators uh, but my question to you uh, is out here is who are the producers out here okay and then the responsibility of the legal everything stands with the producer right and if you go with the age background okay uh, what do you say if you go 20 years back 10 years back it was just movie producers so sorry there is a construction work going on so there might be a background uh, so if you go 10 years back 20 years back it were independent creators it were movie producers it were ad agencies so this were all major players who day in day out knew at least the legal aspects of music okay but today because we work with a lot of these companies a lot of the entrepreneurs in startup stage or funding who have raised funding so we we work across all kind of clients so these are the people who actually don't understand the importance of licensed music they will just trust their editor who trust me is getting paid 2000 3000 4000 for a video who is not going to do a custom video royalty free video website se wo chipka dega and one year two year when everything is done they will get a copyright strike from youtube from facebook from other platforms so yes uh music creators ke liye platform is good but this is more beneficial of course people are not aware especially startup founders or the companies because today every company is making videos gone are those days that it was just for big companies or a, for this a particular brand now every startup entrepreneur everyone is creating videos using some music in their videos it might be testimonial etc etc and then they get a copyright strike this guy is not even aware now what to do and the editor has left a long back okay musician to bhool jao okay and lot of time even if uh, i don't know how many of you have read the copyright license very carefully of all the free website which says royalty free for lifetime okay those are revocable licenses so for example uh, tomorrow khalid has submitted it to let's say xyz platform saying royalty free and khalid decide okay i don't want to put it out there i want to now remove it automatically you will get a strike because this is not a copyright free and you can't do anything about it you have paid your services you have you can also show that license to youtube or any other platform but it is clearly written it's a revocable license <laughs> so this is something which not a lot of founders lot of company owners are getting and if you see you let's say if you sp- spend 1000 rupees in creating a video you might spend just 50 or 100 bucks in the music part of it but that 50 or 100 buck, uh, bucks if license is not clear okay that can spoil the entire investment of 1000 bucks so this is something which uh, that is why i was excited uh, with uh, when we first connected with mansoor and then we had our uh, editing team sit with him give him feedback because i believe and i never try to what do you say hide things from a client i always say if you do this you are going to be in trouble okay not a lot of editors do that and that is where uh, what do you say of course from the music side these guys are going to rock no doubt that is why i'm here with them but from a education standpoint it's also somewhere responsibility of our community or beethoven community to educate a lot of people who are relying on their editor to use copyright free music it's actually not going to be a copyright free music and that is why to use 
uh, B2N platform so that license is there and all those things. So that's it, guys. This is something, a mindset shift that has happened from producers being only the film producers, short film producers to a level where each one of you, even individual people sitting out here might decide that my family, ke saath, my focus, ke saath, kuch fun video bana ke, I will put it on YouTube, Facebook. Again, you guys can get a copyright strike and all those things. So welcome to a world where everyone is creator and everyone is producer. And uh, from an investment standpoint, I think uh, what do you say? Uh, Puneet, Vivek, and Srikant have made a beautiful bet, and I'm sure it's going to uh, pay them 10x, 20x in coming times. So, all the best, guys, and take care. Thank you, Rupak. Thank you uh, for that uh, insightful information. So, guys, we're almost at the end of the session now. Uh, before we open the floor for questions, I, I would like to thank all the panelists here for sharing their valuable time and uh, insights and in their, their journey with Beethoven and how they've been associated with the platform. Thank you, Mansoor, and thank you, Siddharth, for sharing your perspective on the brand as well. Now, I'd like to open the floor for some questions here. So, Amit Gurbakshani had a question on the subscription plan. Mansoor, would you like to take that on in, in further detail, though you put in a few... Yeah, so right now, uh, the subscription plan is pretty straightforward. Like, uh, we just restrict downloads up to 30 minutes. So everybody gets a feel of the tool and they can use it for 30 minutes. And then if it's like a serious power user, they can take a subscription and get rid of that uh, limit. That's that's basically the, the primary differentiation. There is a free free version and there's like a $20 per month subscription. Great, are there any other questions, uh, guys? We have some time here. We have about 10 minutes. So if there are any questions, uh, we're happy to take on any questions. Uh, Amit also asks, uh, uh, here there's another question that's come up. Could you explain how the musicians are compensated? Yeah, thanks Amit for the question. So basically the way how we are doing it right now is we are paying it upfront. Uh, you know, we, we like pay the musicians and we buy the samples from them. Uh, so even with like Khaled Asad, all these guys were there in this call, like that's how we did it with them. Uh, we decided a price in the beginning, like, you know, we want so many samples, what's the price that you're comfortable with producing? And it's an understanding and we do like a full buyout from them. Uh, so that's basically how we currently do it. Complete compensation upfront. Yeah. I have a question. Oh, can I ask? Yeah, go ahead, Rupa. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I think we had a discussion on this one school, uh, sometime back also. What if I want to buy the exclusive rights of that music? Uh, right. Beethoven will not own it. Uh, I will own it. Right. Then so that is something. Yeah. So that is something that we actually are discussing right now. So like to look at base how we can even look at that case because that is not something that's available in the market right now. And I think you rightly brought it out that you know as an agency it's quite important sometimes for you to own the whole rights to the music and not just the license. So definitely looking at it, looking at the technology side of things as well, uh, of uh, the feasibility and you know also the sustainability and all of those things, but definitely in the works, uh, a work in progress, yeah. Okay, so we have another question here, Mansoor. Uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, Aditi Paul asks, are there any opportunities for producers and musicians? If yes, how does one approach Beethoven? Yeah, so Sid has shared the link, uh, but I'll just touch upon it. So it's pretty straightforward. You just go to our website. There's an artist section and below there's an apply now button. As soon as you click on that, uh, you are redirected to our email. You just need to upload your work and send it to us. We will review it at our end. And if all good, then we will just contact you and we will do a deal with you. That's basically how it works. Right now, already 150 producers are working with us. And these are all kinds of genres, all genres, uh, different kinds of music from cinematic to ambient to Indian classical. So yeah, so all, all, all kinds of musicians are already working with us in the platform and definitely looking for many more people to come and join us in this year. Great. Um, any other questions, guys? Thanks, Mansu, for sharing that. Yeah, uh, so one more thing I would like to understand is because on a lot of projects, our multiple editors might be working on one. Okay, like the Canva has an option to share the design and People can be on call and discuss, okay, ye text baro hai, ye change karo, ye font baro hai. Do we have something like that? If we take two membership or enterprise plan, then our editors can have access to the same music and they both can edit simultaneously. Yeah, great question. So this is basically on the collaborative music making side. So multiple accounts for the same subscription is something definitely we are looking at because uh, when we were doing 
research on this product even in the US markets. That is something that agencies uh, is something of very much of interest to the agencies. So definitely in the works. Yeah, that's something we'll be exploring and having a separate plan for you know multiple accounts. Like one subscription covers like four or five accounts or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, I take up Aditya's question. So do these tracks need to be mixed and mastered? So at our level, uh, we mix and master them and uh, they are good to go for social media and stuff, but we will eventually bring more formats for TV, which are standard formats for TV, Spotify, and et cetera. Uh, so whatever your use case is, so that we'll bring. Uh, currently, it's good to go for socials. It's already mixed and mastered. Sir, I think there's one more question Arpit has. Yeah, there's okay. another question uh, by Arpit. Uh, yeah, asking, can, can we choose chord progressions for the compositions? Uh, no, you cannot currently choose chord progressions for the compositions. Uh, so it's not explicit. So we intend to keep this platform uh, like un understandable for content creators who don't usually understand the terms like chords, keys, etc. So we have uh, intentionally kept those, kept those things hidden. Uh, but eventually, if uh, like more, more number of users request that, then probably we could look into it. Great. Do we have uh, any more questions before we wind up? Okay, guys, great. I think we're done with the question. It seems that uh, we... If there's anything, guys, that you all need, I have put in my coordinates and my colleagues' coordinates, Bhavya's coordinates here. Please feel free, uh, feel free to reach out in case you guys need uh, any more information. I'd like to thank you all for being a part of this event. Uh, thank you to all the panelists again, once again. And congratulations, Mansoor and Siddharth, uh, on the launch of the platform. Thank, thank you, guys. Congrats. Bye. 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 Thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone. For thank you for all being there. Bye, guys.